hello guys welcome back to genuine core youtube channel and this is the 20th video in the JavaFX library management tutorial series and in this video i will show you how to encrypt or how to make your password uncrackable as of now your password is visible as a plain text in the configuration file which is not visible at all so what we are going to do is we are going to apply hashing on it so i hope you are familiar with the hashing methods so let me introduce you to the sha1 hash so there will be online sha1 creator so let us try this sha1 online and suppose i want to encrypt the password suppose let me let my password be admin and i press on this hash button and you will get this as the hash this is called one-way encryption because you uh, once you get this one you cannot create the admin text back because uh, if you are given with the SHA1 hash, you cannot create admin. But the reverse is possible. If you are given with admin, you can create the SHA1 hash. The thing is, we will be storing the password as a hash, just like this. When the user enters a password, we instantly apply SHA1 hashing on it. Then we compare whether it is this. I mean, uh, uh, no two separate tags or anything can have the same SHA value. Suppose I'm going to change let a little bit of the password, like uh, instead of admin, I'm going to set it as admin, and change with the M, and see the drastic change that is occurring in the hash. So hash, then it was D033, and now it is an entirely different hash. So there are different hashes, like MD5, SHA1, SHA256, and the previously people used the uh, MD5, uh, but now it is not that secure because with latest generation computer, it is possible to brute force and uh, generate the original text from the hash value. So for security, always use SHA1 or better. So I'm using SHA1 and uh, using SHA1 from Java is very much simple because there is a Apache utility called DigitUtils and uh, it is coming from uh, DigitUtils and you can set, set it for in the Maven repo. So Apache common codec provides the DigitUtils, DigestUtils. So let me download this Java first. You guys also download this and yes, I want to keep it. And I am going to the setting section, uh, download section downloads then i got the common codec i'm going to paste it here in the lib section so lib section i'm sorry before starting this video tutorial i mean 20th i have to commit because the last commit was on the end of 17th tutorial so uh, you guys can get the source code from the JIT uh, repo it is available in the description i mean the link is available in the description of the first video of this tutorial series so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add everything git arrow git commit minus m end of 19th tutorial okay and here we are in the 20th video tutorial so I will push it later so we got the library in the common codec in the lib section so the next thing we have to add is in the library is use the add jar folder then we are going to add common score at 1.4 now we have to do the tweaking uh, and coming back to the previous settings no, uh, in the preference section uh, when we called set password we just uh, set the password as password so uh, it, it, we can implement the digestion from another layer I mean where when we take the value from the settings UI like we did here say i mean here just here password dot get text we can apply digestion hashing here and the send and send the password to preferences file itself but for simplicity it will be better if you implement the hashing here so for generating hash what you have to do is use the digest util so i'm going to use it digest utils so digest utils dot as you can see there are all the hash all hashing uh, methods are available here just like i said before md5 is available sh256 is available sh512 is available everything is available let us use the sha hex well, hash 
hashing so we are go giving the password and it is storing the string pass and as it will store it a string pass using digest users.sh hex so uh, when we call the set password it will store the password in a hex format so uh, we don't want another variable so let us do this right into the password variable so digest util.sh hex and password so that's it uh, so far so good let us complete the program and uh, for now for implementing this let me remove the config.txt which is containing the uh, plain text password now let's run the program I'm going to press on the settings button and a uh, config.txt there is no such file because there was no configuration file I removed it and it called the init config method which created a default configuration file for me and as you can see there is a default configuration file so the problem still is we have one loose end here in the preferences section when we created a new configuration file we store the password as password equals admin so we don't want to do that instead you can call set password and set it as admin now let's say uh, let's delete the configuration file compare the program then run it just a second in the settings there is an error because the config.txt is not was not available and as you can see now even though our password is admin it is displayed in the hex format I mean it is not visible at all so if you uh, come to the config.txt section as you can see now the hash code for admin is stored in say the password so anyone who having this entry cannot create the original plain text password I mean which was the admin so that's it now what we want to test is what happens when we create a new password so uh, our password was admin and I'm going to set it as root R O O T and I'm going to press on the save button so the settings updated that's okay and if I come to the config section as you can see I got the password hash for root so so far so good thank you guys thank you for watching this video in the next video i will show you how to create a login page and uh, connect it with the settings uh, settings module so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos